Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see this quick easy makeup. Yes, that's right. This is my go-to work makeup look recently. I get up in the morning and it takes me about five minutes to apply this makeup. It's quick, it's easy, and it looks kind of professional. I've also been wearing this makeup in a lot of my videos lately and several people have requested that I give you a little tutorial on how I do it. So in just a few minutes I'll be showing you that. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and in making your second half your best half, I hope you'll consider subscribing and when you click that little bell it just notifies you of my weekly videos. I do videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Okay, let me go ahead and take off this makeup and we'll get started. Okay, I'm up close and personal and I'm going to be starting out with my Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Absolutely love this. I've been using this for about a year and I just think it blends in the fine lines and wrinkles and just gives me a nice even canvas to start with. And I'll spray a little of my Urban Decay All Nighter on this just to smooth out that foundation. And on many work days I don't go ahead and apply a primer first because I just don't have time to do that. I find that this foundation goes on so smoothly and applies so well that I really don't need to first apply a primer with it. Although sometimes at night when I'm getting all dolled up and I have the time I will definitely use my primer and I usually use the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I think that one just does a beautiful job of nulling out your pores and it doesn't seem to exacerbate fine lines and wrinkles which is always good. And when I'm in a hurry to start my work day I don't apply an eyeshadow primer I just make sure and take a little of the foundation up on my eyelids. That's the time saver. Now I always do apply my Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. This is especially important because I'm still dealing with that Mohs incision. It is getting lighter. It's been a year in December, so maybe about 10 months. They say it can be up to a year and a half before it totally blends into the skin, but it is headed in that direction and it is on this side. But I just use a little of that Tarte Shape Tape all around the eyes. Also on the eyelids because it acts a little bit like an eyelid primer. Now in the interest of time, during the week before work I don't generally apply a loose powder. I'll just use a little bit of my CoverGirl Smoothers just to take off the edge and set the concealer a little bit. Null out the shine. I think this is a very nice pressed powder and it's very reasonable in price. Now I'm going to go into my eyeshadow and I've been using this for about the past month and I love it. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette and I like it because it has a nice blend of mattes and shimmers. Okay, I'll come over here. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of this color called Heaven right under the brow. There we go, other side. little bit on the inner corner to lighten that up. Then I'm going to go in with this color called Silk Teddy using the same brush just in the interest of time and I don't mind a little bit of that white from the brow being mixed in with the eyeshadow. I think that's nice and I really like the idea of a lighter eyelid color because many of us have hooded eyes and it does help make the eyelid area look larger and more prominent and less hooded. Then I'm going to take a little of the Silk Teddy into the corner. Not super important, but while you're, while you're at it, just null out a little bit of that black in the corner. Now I take my e.l.f. blending brush and I dip into this Cashmere Bunny right here. Love this. I just go in the corner there, make a little circle motion, and when you're in a hurry, you don't have to really work out that V in the inner V. You just use this in a little circular motion and it gives you that look. Go to the other side, tap off the brush, then we're going to go in and create that outer V or inner V, whatever it's called, that V by just kind of using that brush in a circular motion. Now we're going to take the Sigma Smudge Brush and go into this color, this dark brown called Sexpresso. We're just going to create a little bit of an under eyeliner look there. I like a little more drama. You could go ahead and use that lighter brown cashmere bunny here if you don't like as much drama as I do. 
I'm a drama girl. And even though this is a quick workday look, I always use a little bit of this Ultimate Brow Highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's very inexpensive and I love what it does. It really opens up my eyes. In fact, I got a compliment at work on my eyes and they ask about this specifically. It really just takes about 30 seconds to do that. Now I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara off camera. Okay, that's the finished eye look. And I will say that I had been using the Babe Lash every night, almost every night, on my lashes to make them longer. But about three weeks ago, I started using this Grand Lash. And this is very highly rated on Amazon. And they sent me this product, which I was so happy about. I've been using it for maybe about three weeks. And I really think it is making my eyelashes look much longer. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in learning about the results of the Grand Lash when all is said and done in about four or five more weeks, then please subscribe and click that little bell that will notify you of that and my other anti-aging videos. Now in my work makeup I have just two more steps. I apply the Chanel blush. I really love this. This is the Ju Contrast Blush in 370 Elegance and I'll go ahead and just use my little blush brush here just to apply that and during the work day I don't use any highlighter or contour because it just takes too long and we have fluorescent lights at work and sometimes I think that kind of stuff shows in the fluorescent lights and I sure don't want to look like I'm wearing chocolate bars under my cheeks. I really do like this blush as I think it just gives a very natural look and I'll put a link below in case you're interested in learning more. Then I apply my absolute favorite lipstick and I'm about to run out which kills me because it's not inexpensive. I think it's about $32. This is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and I used to think oh who cares about specific colors I can find something like this in a drugstore brand but I love this lip formula. It goes on smooth and satiny and it stays on a long time and it's just a beautiful color. I'll go ahead and show that to you. you go and I don't apply a lip liner during the day just to save time but there's that lip color very pretty well that was a look at the makeup that I do almost every morning it's my go-to makeup that is easy I could probably do it in my sleep and if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in girly girl things anti-aging makeup skincare even home improvement because I'm going to be showing you my wonderful kitchen makeover at least I hope it's wonderful I will be airing that pretty soon here in fact the rest of the house here is a wreck I'll put a picture of how it looks right now it is just not fun to go through but anyway if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in a full range of kind of interesting topics then I hope you'll consider subscribing because when you click that little bell that just notifies you of my future videos okay I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been going to these power thoughts cards from Louise Hay I've removed the duplicates so we're winding down here in cards let's choose one let's see what power thought we can think of today Ooh, I love this I turn every experience into an opportunity. I turn every experience into an opportunity. Love that. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. You know, the way I look at it, there are successes and there are learning opportunities. And either way, you do benefit. In fact, some of the most difficult things I went through in my life were learning opportunities that actually prepared me in a much better way for things that were to come in my life. And looking back, it seemed like everything that happened in my life was meant to be and was pretty perfect. And I think that's a wonderful way to look at life, to realize that God doesn't give bad gifts, even the seemingly negative things that happen. Usually, when we give it some time and go through some more experiences, we look back and realize that that was something essential for us to go through or that even if it was very difficult we did receive gifts from it so just for today let's try to turn every experience into an opportunity and realize every problem has a solution and all experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow take care see you next time